Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Toonstruck. In the last episode, we rusted up RoboChef here, and now we have access to his turkeys, his giant pile of turkeys. Let's grab some. Oh yeah, okay. So we've finally got access to this kitchen area, which definitely leads to the rec room with the gators above through the, uh, the dumbwaiter. So I'm guessing we need to do something with that, sabotage them maybe, I don't know. Um, let's have a look at this turkey. A cooked turkey. A cooked turkey indeed. Well, can we, oh hang on, can we do anything to the turkey like chloroform it? Damn! Damn, I really thought that would be it. But I guess we have used that item quite a lot. It's kind of like our, our go-to item, a sonic screwdriver of this game. Um, okay, can we stick a balloon in there so they bite it and then it pops? No. We need to stuff it with something, I think. I don't know what, though. I don't know what would... Can we just stick something sharp in there, or... No. Okay, fine. What else have we got here? We've got a stove. Ooh, fire embers. Ah, my mother taught me not to stick my hand into a fire a long time ago. About the same time she taught me that you should never, never get stuck in a cartoon world. Oh, Drew, why didn't you listen to your poor mother? Then you wouldn't be stuck in this situation now, would you, you silly boy? Can we grab those fire embers with something? Obviously not our bare hands, but I don't know. What about, um... Uh, I don't know, we haven't really got... A a scoop. We need a scoop. What about with the fire? No. A watering can, like you could scoop it up. Oh, treasure chest. That's a bit like a scoop. Damn it. Okay, fine. Never mind. We can close the door. Ooh. That makes me think we need to cook something. Or burn something. Can we stick the turkey in there and char it up a bit? Somehow. I'm not hungry. Oh no, I gave that to Drew. Hang on. Out of the way of the door. You fool. Let's try it again. It's already cooked. Doesn't need to be flame broiled. Oh. That's how I like my turkey though. <laughs> flame broiled. Uh what else could we put in there? Could we Oh, could we melt down the watering can into gold? No. I don't know why I would want to do that. I just I just wondered. Um Balloon. No, now I'm just trying random items. Although, to be honest, I, I am getting to that point sometimes where it's like, well, let's just do this. Tempting, but probably oh. not a good idea. And then, you know, you get stuff like that. So, I remember doing that in old point and clicks where it's just like, you reach the end of your tether and you just spam click everything, which I try not to do, but sometimes you just have to. A dumb way. Let's have a look at this thing here. Where's the button for it? Oh, there. Here goes nothing. <laughs> oh, we can send up nothing and they get all sad. Oh, the poor gators are hungry. Can we... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's stick the turkey in there, just that to see what happens. Pile of junk won't let me. Wait a minute. There we go. Wouldn't want those nice guys to get hungry. Okay, sorry, I was just drinking some coffee there. So, yeah, they definitely take whatever's in the dumbwaiter, so we need to do something to a turkey. Uh, I don't know what yet, though. We'll come back to that. I'm a bit annoyed. I was kind of hoping we could progress somewhere with that room, but I'm still stuck. What have we got left to do? We got That's the dungeon, isn't it? Yeah, upstairs we have... Oh, the night. We have the night. We have the gargoyle, which we can't open. Um... We have to do something to this guard. Oh, great. A 
Guard, I better be careful while I'm down here. But I don't know what. We've tried hitting him, we've tried chloroforming him. Does he want a balloon? Balloon? No, that's not going to be very useful, is it? Um, right, what have we got? Let's think about this logically in a very illogical game. Watering can, no. Glasses, could we blind him? No. Mallet, no. Chest, no. Balloon, no. Crystals, I feel like we're going to need these crystals for an end puzzle or something. Um, portable hole, could we trap him? No. Squirrel Book of Love, probably not. Plunger, probably not. Is anything magnetised? No. Uh, well, actually, we have this thing here, the bolted platform of the night above. That's probably metallic. Can we use it on that? Bad idea. That guard may be dozing off, but he's not asleep yet. Oh, he's dozing off. Okay. Uh, fly, no. A stamping pad. Stamping pad, no. A red rubber glove. Glove, King no. Use music box with ink on it. Oh, a music box. Oh, didn't he? Yeah, didn't the the footman use that when he was going to bed? Is this gonna play a little lullaby? Say good night, fish breath. Oh, look at that! Nailed it. <laughs> Oh, we put the big fella to sleep. See, that's the thing, you just got to, I, I've got to start doing that more, right? Just to go through all the objects and I actually remember what they are and not just take stupid guesses like I've been doing in the past. Chloroform it. Hit it. You know, it's not more than that. I should be, I'm a seasoned point and click player now. I should know what I'm doing and yet I do not. So now can we magnetise this thing? I've got the knight, but I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, okay. Is it on his monitor? I'm sure sleepy won't mind if I turn this around. Let's see what's on. The malevolator. If I can steal it, maybe I can save Flux. Wait a minute. I thought. I thought the last we'd seen of Nefarious was that he was flying this. Has he parked it? Has he come back? I don't know. Uh, can we change the channel? Oh, we can. Camera two. Flux and the Cutifier. Repeat, I have tracked down Flux and the Cutifier. The fool has flown into the canyons that lie beyond the Twisted Forest and is now completely lost. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The next time I radio in, Flux Wildly and his meddling machine will be history. <laughs> Hold on, little buddy. Hold on. Oh dear. Nefarious TV is off the air. Did you see his hair in that clip? Oh man, it was because he's worth it. All over the place. Okay, so we have to go save Flux, right? I kind of forgot about Flux, to be honest. Oh, there's our there's our jail cell. I don't. I say about Flux, it's like it's been a bit weird, really. It's kind of going from the the beginning of the game where you're out meeting all the characters. And now we've been stuck in this stupid castle for so long. It's like give me all the fun characters again. I miss them. I miss Flux and that. Ah. That's what we we're after, yes. Let's just check the last one though. Nothing. Alright, let's turn it back to that. Is he going to look at that now? When we use the magnet? Let's try. Sounds like this is my night. Ah ha 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 ha, here we go. Why is that tile raised? Destination tile. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, okay, nice. I thought there'd be a bit more to it than that, but um, that was a simple puzzle. Just press on the raised tile. Cool. Well, thank you very much, suit of armor. You've been very useful. My knight in shiny armor. Oh, it really is. Mwah. Okay, what is up here? Lots of scary things in the wall. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe not. It's the fire's three stages. What are they doing? They're playing cards. Uh-oh. You should be watching me, because I've escaped you fools. What should I tell them? To throw me back in jail? Uh yeah, good point. Okay. Feedback. Oh, these are their names. Oh, okay. That one's called Feedback. Lugnut. And Goggles. Huh. Can I turn that off? I mean, obviously not. They're right next to it, but that's really annoying. That radio is so loud, it's a wonder they can hear themselves think. Yeah, you're telling me, Drew. Those three sure are wrapped up in their car game. What do we have around here? Guys, oh. Are we supposed to be guarding these supplies? We are guarding the supplies. I thought we were playing cards. We are playing cards. But. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, you just focus on that. Don't mind me, I'm gonna sneak around. <gasps> TNT. Oh, yes. I can't reach it. And somehow just marching over there and taking it seems inadvisable. Oh, you know what, guys? The TNT would look mighty good inside a turkey. Let's do some, some explosive stuff in. If we can actually get to it. Is there anything else... Selectable. Uh, what about his megaphone thing? Nope. Should we perhaps uh, check on the prisoner? Look, you idiot. How many times do I have to tell you? There is absolutely no way that pathetic little runt is going to get out of that cell. Yeah, you're right. It, it was a stupid idea. Of course I'm right. That's why I'm the leader. Oh yeah, I mean he'd never do that. No, hehe. <laughs> what is this that keeps bouncing? Hopping crate. The lid is nailed down. I can just rip it open with my bare hands. Oh, okay. Uh, can we smash it open? There has to be a better way for me to knock sense into my head. Oh, oh no, I clicked it on. Hang on. I that. don't want to smash the crate to bits. Why not? I guess it might be a bit loud. Uh, fine. Could we magnetize it open somehow? No. Could we plunger it? I don't know. I'm not stuck up. Oh, I keep selecting Drew by accident. Move away from it. There we go. I can't use this to open the crate. I need something that could pry the lid open. Hey. Did you hear the one about the guy who couldn't remember the punchlines, the jokes? He... Oh, darn. Alright, I'm getting out of here because that stupid boombox is just too loud. Uh, we need something to pry open, like a crowbar would make the most sense, wouldn't it? Uh, could we use... The thing that most looks like a crowbar is the pin that we got from Spike, but I don't know... I don't know whether we can take that out of the Climatron now? Because we're using it as the lever. So I'm hoping we don't need to do any more climate control. Let's see if I can grab it. Oh, I can. Oh, brilliant. Okay. I'm a genius. Let's head back up. I think we were just walking up the stairs backwards then. <laughs> Moonwalk him. Right, let's take that and use it on this. Please work. This ought to work. Hello? Ray? All right, buddy. Step away from the frog. It's okay. I'm a friend of your brother's. My brother's? Did, did they send you to rescue me? Well, uh... Oh, yeah. I knew it. So, my new friend. What's our escape plan? Well, that plan is still kind of in the development stage. Just a few loose notes, really. All right. I don't have a plan. Oh, hey. Wait a second. Are you the alien? I guess. Yeah, 
I overheard Nefarious talking about you. And some kind of trans-dimensional warp device that he's created. Yeah, created. Warp device? He said the device can transport him to your world, and he's been conducting experiments in his headquarters on the fourth floor. My world. This could be my ticket home. I'm not leaving here without that device. Well, what about you? I'm afraid this isn't much of a rescue. Don't worry about me, new friend. Now that you've set me free, I can try to swim to shore and go for help. But you look for the warp device. Swim to shore? But that's impossible. Oh, Toadstool. Not if you're a frog. Before I go, take this. Yeah. I think it has something to do with the warp device, but I'm not sure what. One of Nefarious' henchmen dropped it. Thanks, Ray. Thank you for freeing me, friend. I'll never forget you. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, definitely good luck. Ah, what a lovely moment. Uh, hang on. Stupid jukebox. Boombox, even. There we go. Ah, oh, what a lovely moment that was. We we freed Ray. Now Do, Ray, and me can be back together at last, making their butter and their pastries and whatnot. All right, so we got a red crystal. Red crystal, which is part of a warp thing. I mean, that sounds good. Yeah, it does sound like our ticket home, but it also sounds like <laughs> if Nefarious gets into our world, then we're doomed, right? So that's. A good start, but that doesn't really help in getting the TNT. I want to get the TNT. Can I go inside the crate? Hiding in a crate. The oldest trick in the book. Um, and then what? What should I tell them? To throw me back in jail? What, what should I do in here? Can I move over to the TNT? I can't reach it from here. And somehow just marching over there and taking it seems inadvisable. <laughs> Oh, that's how we move. Okay. Oh. Huh? Nothing. Don't mind me. Huh? <laughs> I love the music cues. Hello? Look, look, tell that frog he better get back where he belongs, or else. Frog, you better get back where you belong, or else. How was that? Oh, damn it. I mean, ribbit. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I need to be more careful. Huh? Okay. Huh? Oh. Well. I can watch out for goggles. That's enough of that. Uh, guys, aren't we supposed to be guarding these supplies? We are guarding. I thought we were. We. But. Never mind. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I want to get out of here. We got the TNT. Oh, yes. We're just such a ninja. We really are. So sneaky. So, can we just stick that right where the sun don't shine? A box of TNT. Now I can really stick it to him. Yes, okay, put that. Oh, I haven't got... Oh, crap. Put it there. A stick of TNT. It appears to have an exceptionally short fuse. Oh. That might screw us over a bit. Let's go try it anyway. Go grab a, a turkey. Stick it up its bottom. And into the dumbwaiter. I'm hoping it won't explode too early. I mean, it can't be a very long journey. Surely it's like just the right amount of time. Let's take that. Let's combine that. Turkey and stuffing. <laughs> Look at that, that's a great sight. Oh, do we need to light it as well? Maybe let's light it in the stove? It's already cooked. Oh, uh It's already cooked. How do we Turkey and stuffing? Maybe it just does it by itself. Let's just try. Wouldn't want those nice guys to get hungry.
Okay, we have to light it. Nothing's ever simple in this game, is it? Fine. Uh, what? A box of TNT. Can I take some more TNT out? Now I can really stick it to him. Okay, good. What could we use to light it? Let's grab another turkey. Do I need to light the light the TNT, then stick it in the turkey, and then put it in the dumbwaiter? Yes. Fuse okay. Is really short. I better make this fast. Okay, okay, okay. Where's my? Oh no. A dumbwaiter. Oh no! I can't. Why can't I access my inventory? That's it. I'm putting this stick of dynamite out until I figure out what to do with it. Oh, okay, fine. Panic over. So I need to have the turkey ready in the dumbwaiter. Would want those nice no, guys to get don't, hungry. No, don't do it automatically, Drew. All right. So hang on. There's got to be the right order to this. Maybe that rusty pile of junk won't let me. What are you talking about? He's frozen solid because of rust. Uh, let's. Now I can really stick it to him. Let's get that. Let's uh, light it and then click it on the pile of turkeys. Maybe. How about I make this fast? There. There we go. That's more like it. I'm snuffing this candle before it goes boom. Wouldn't oh no! Want wait. Those nice guys to get hungry. No, I was too slow. Like, is there any need to be that clunky about it? Just let me blow up the gators, all right? Come on. Let's be even faster. How about I make this fast? And go, 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 go. Faster, Drew. Run. Here you go, guys. Have a blast. Now we can say, see you later, Alligator. stupid we got ourselves some nice alligator skin bags and belts and boots all right well we got there in the end that was that was a very clumsy and like just overly done to be honest but we, we got there we got there our quick complaining um, and hey we made a bit more progress look at that so next time we can go back up to the rec room see what's in there and maybe somehow get something to let us in upstairs and get closer to that weird warp machine that Nefarious is working on. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!